Hello everyone, Crypto Explorer here. Welcome back on the channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. Huge news on today's video. We will be covering the D Mountain Finance upcoming project, which will be going live. It's just around the corner in 22 hours and 48 minutes. So next Friday at 8 p.m. UTC, this D Mountain BUSD protocol will be going live. The first weekly auction will be getting started and it will last for 24 hours which means saturday at 8 pm utc it will be closed all right and since this is, is happening on a weekly basis you will have to wait for another week in order to get in now this is what, what we will be covering on the video everything you need to know about the d mountain bsd uh, what what features does it have to offer what things do make it stand out from the pack so guys there's a lot to cover a lot to talk about buckle in for the upcoming minutes you don't want to miss a thing and let's get it going first thing i want to talk to you about is who is the team behind the project i already did that in one of my previous videos but it has been so long ago and i just want to rerun it and show you some some of their latest uh, projects so you get up to date with uh, not only their most recent work but also why i trust in this team so much so let me just scroll down and start to show you why i have such confidence in this team for them investors confidence comes first and that is really noticeable by looking at the triple audits they get for most of their projects so they put their money where their mouth is these audits cost money and they do spend it to show investors they are a team that commits to their project okay on top of that the ceo uria was kyc'd recently by anonidocs so one other step in the right direction like i like to say and it goes to show that these guys they the, one of their um, main focus is to reassure investors that they are trustworthy okay so one other aspect i wanted to show you about their the team their past work very briefly i'm going to tell you about the mountain matic this one has been running for over two months you heard me right over two months user base grows by the day incredible uh, number over 1200 and 70 users at the moment and they grow by the day if you log in tomorrow i'm pretty sure since this project has daily auctions this number will be even higher uh, the tvl is looking really healthy still uh, it's even higher than it was ex yesterday actually with um, a, a total value over 13,500 matic really really healthy protocol still going on after two months guys same thing with the BNB D Mountain. This one is a little younger. This one has a little over one month of, since it was launched. User base grows, but this one has weekly auctions. So that means it works hand in hand with the D Mountain BUSD in terms of how the auctions go and happen. And the total value lock on D Mountain BNB is a very healthy over 57 BNB at the moment, okay? never mind that all these projects i've been mentioning you the bnb and the matic the mountain they have been paying investors since day one all right now this one the busb i, I don't want i don't expect anything different from the mountain busd uh, actually there's a huge novelty to it and it's the treasury the implementation of the treasury is another testament for the team's commitment to delivering innovation to bringing new things to the table and to set themselves apart from the other projects out there the treasury itself uh, will um, guarantee that there will be profit generated by external investment sources all right and this profit will be handled to investors uh, by being deposited to the daily uh, rewards pool which will earn dividends for the users who staked their d mountain tokens all right their d mountain tokens are they can get in several ways but the most 
the straightforward one is by joining the weekly auctions so this is what you can expect um, a, a safe project with a safe clean contract a committed team uh, behind it that delivers not only a, a trustworthy space for us investors to to put our funds in but also a very innovative uh, feature of the treasury okay not only this there is also another another very important aspect to help that helps this one to to set this one aside from the pack but the treasury is one of the main features of it and actually this value here it's not yet up to date because the treasury was funded uh, partially by two of two pre-sales that already happened those pre-sales didn't get even actually none advertisement whatsoever so it was mostly funded by the ongoing network of connections of the team and those people knew about the private sale they they invested and that's partially what is uh, currently uh, making the the treasury to be a reality at this point in time okay so like i said this is not up to date i believe the the um, the value is much higher than this one at the moment probably the double but still uh, it goes to show you i just the the main thing i want you to take from this is that the treasury is a reality and when the, the project goes live the first auction uh, starts the treasury will be something that it's already palpable okay it's already something which exists now let's take a look into the light paper uh, basically if i would have to sum the mountain to you i would tell you it's a next gen DeFi staking app where you get in in this case with your busd tokens you enter the auctions with your tokens and uh, by doing so you will get the mount tokens those demand tokens are then um, staked by yourself and that's what will generate you passively a mountain of dividends that will be paid out in busd so when the stake comes to an end you are able to collect both your demand tokens and your busd dividends to your wallet okay basically that's the how the whole thing goes weekly auction so what are the weekly options I just explained you briefly and I want you to also know that um, scarcity of the demounted token is a reality so the first week will will have 3 million tokens available and for each upcoming week that number will be decreased will be reduced by 3% all right so good thing to know because uh, there will be scarcity involved in the future which means that the demount token uh, at, for how long we go into the future it will get more and more scarce which means that theoretically the price will go higher higher and higher uh, as we go into the future okay also only at the end of the auction you will know specifically how many demount tokens you were able to get and that is calculated by dividing that those mentioned 3 million on the first auction that is for the whole um, bulk of the BUSD uh, deposits made okay and that's what will give you the ratio and that's what will tell you how many demand tokens you got with uh, for each BUSD token invested also 55 percent of the BUSD entering weekly auctions that will go straight to the dividends pool so that that there you go you already know one aspect that it's funding the dividends pool the other will be the treasury like i showed you the treasury will generate profits then those profits will be uh, implemented into the the rewards pool for everyone to benefit from still the remainder 45 percent of the BUSD deposit on the weekly auctions will go to treasury marketing development and also the lottery there you have the chart that explains you or of how all the whole uh, rewards process um, is, um, is is being made and basically it's the same thing as we which already happens with the demount and bnb brief very briefly the first week of auction um, 
55% of the value accrued on that first auction will be split evenly for the upcoming week. So first week, 55% of the value going in on the auction will be feeding the dividends pool for the upcoming week, for the upcoming eight days. On the second week, week number two, 55% of the BUSD going in on the auction, being deposited on the auction, will be evenly split for the upcoming two weeks, because it's week two, right? So the upcoming um, 16 days, three weeks, since it's week three, the same thing applies. 55% of the BUSD accrued into the auction will be divided evenly for the upcoming 24 days, that is upcoming three weeks. And the, the same deal applies for weeks four, five, six, and so on, okay? So basically, that's how the, um, the reward system goes. If we are looking at the staking and considering the staking now, well, staking is the most straightforward way, you could call it the primary way to get dividends on the mountain. So it's, doing, it's done by, like I said before, you stake your demand tokens and then you accrue, you just sit back and wait for your daily dividends to accrue and those will be paid out in BUSD. It's a passive long-term strategy, which means the longer you stake, the more you make, okay? You will stake the amount tokens and when you do so, you can choose in between to 21, that's the, the minimum of staking period, and 300, which is the maximum um, length for your stakings to to be set. Um, the more you, you, the longer you stake, the more you make because you will get more mount tokens the longer you stake them for. And guys, mount tokens will be paid out as bonus when the stake ends. When it ends, you, you will be able to collect, you will get your original stake bonus, your BUSD dividends, and also your D mount bonus tokens, all right? When staked, they are locked for a period of time. That's just the, the nature of the game, how the, the contract was uh, written. And uh, however, you, you can see that as a, uh, a setback in a way, because since they're locked, you don't have access to them. Actually, you have another way to work around it, and that is by using the marketplace. Guys, we will also... Um, um, go through all of that in further detail later on in the video, okay? So, like, like they say here, they implemented the marketplace in which users can basically sell stakes, request loans, and use stakes as collateral. And also, it's good to know that accumulated dividends, stake tokens, and bonus tokens can be collected once the staking period ends. Also, guys, when it ends, you can restake your tokens again. They are yours to stake for how often or as long as you wish them to be staked in, okay? Let's jump in on the treasury. The treasury is also one, before getting in the treasury, let me just tell you something about the staking. And this is really important. All these dividends that you are accumulating during the staking period, they actually, regardless of the TVL, they are set aside for you. So whenever you log in and you see your stake ongoing, you will see the amount of dividends earned to the date. That earn, those earned dividends, they are already yours. No one can withdraw them regardless of what happens to the TVL, okay? And this is another feature that helps to set this project as, apart from the pack. That's another aspect of why I choose to invest in this project. Who, which other projects do you see out there giving investors that reassurance? Most of them, people are just um, losing sleep, thinking about what happens to the TVL, what's happening, will I lose my funds? Not with this one, guys. You know, whenever you see your stakes building up, those those dividends are yours already, okay? Regardless of the TVL, I cannot state this enough. One huge aspect of this project, of this protocol, one huge aspect the team has implemented. Now the treasury. The treasury is the big novelty of this one. 
Um, I really like to see this one on top of the already mentioned dividend system that I really like to see uh, that gives us as investors uh, a, a bigger safety. We already know that those dividends up to that point, they are set um, aside for us. That's really good to know. And I'm betting that in the future, many more projects will adopt these same mechanisms in their own protocols because I think this is the future, okay? Uh, no user in their right state of mind would choose other projects where they're just losing uh, sleep, sleepless nights, thinking about, hey, what happened? what's happening to DVL? Will I wake up and everything still uh, be there? Not with this one, guys, I tell you. So the treasury with the BUSD version of the mountain, we incorporated a treasury that will be used to generate external revenue really really cool feature these guys added divide dividends backed by diversified investors investments so uh, 33 percent of the busd that enters the weekly auctions will go directly into the treasury awesome guys you can check the treasury if you click the link here um but the, the it's not up to date uh, I already showed you on the main page, it's showing the same number that the link would show. Um, but still, um, you already know where you can check in to, to, to see for yourself what is happening with the treasury. Also, 50% of the BUSD raised in the two pre-sale rounds prior to launch is also allocated to the treasury, like I already said to you. And how does this treasury work? We know that there's funds there to be invested and those um, investments will then uh, periodically inject money back into the protocol, which will be split over the next 24 days, increasing the daily BUSD dividends for all stakes. This is awesome. And how does this work actually? Well, there will be a council, a group of members, which will vote on the treasury operator's proposals. And then after the voting is said and done, the, those proposals will get passed along to the risk officer for safety assessment. So there's that's the protocol here for how the treasury will work. Guys, uh, everything is crystal clear with this team. Get used to it if you're not already. The marketplace itself, it's a really cool mechanism on this protocol like i said i like to have options i like to have these uh, opportunities where i just can um, change my strategy even or if for whatever reason i decide i don't want to follow my stake up until the end well i can come to the market i set my stake to sell and that's it make a good offer someone will buy it and both parts will be happy with it uh, with that being said, when you sell a stake, you will not earn dividends. And of course, the person who buys it get both the dividends and the, the amount of tokens. They just have to wait for the, the um, stake to finish in order to collect all of those. All right. Also, one very interesting aspect of the market is that you can actually get really good deals on there and probably even a better and cheaper way to get the amount tokens uh, for for your BUSD. It's all a matter of uh, just searching through the map market and checking the opportunities which are of your liking. So really good to see that, okay? Also, there's the lending option on the market. You can lend money, you can borrow money and um, if you're wondering what what if I lend money and the user doesn't pay pay me out, well, in that case, that person will lose its uh, stake that they served as collateral. That's what happens in situations where borrowers do not commit to fulfilling their loan. Lenders inherit the stake provided as collateral plus additional accrued dividends for the staking period. That's it, guys. No one will be left empty-handed if someone decides not to commit to their end of the deal okay that's how it works and also um, it's good to know that loan requests cannot exceed the BUSD dividends accumulated to date including the interest that has to be paid back and that's for the simple reason that this protocol these stakes they work with real values okay they don't speculate of 
whatever the value of the stake will be in the future. No, this, they work with real values, values that are already determined by the contract at a specific point in time, okay? And here it is, this is a very simple formula for you to understand. Your loan request plus the interest has to be lesser than the accrued dividends. That's how it guarantees for the, the, the whole lending slash borrowing to take place, okay? There's also the lottery to take into consideration if you're a user that aims for the big buys, if you have a big wallet, take a look into the lottery, beat that top entry and get 30% of the prize pool. A really, really cool option for people with big wallets, but have in mind that there might be snipers out there waiting for the last seconds of the auction and no one's safe until the auction is closed, right? That's how it works. Also another thing really, really important about this project, it's the referrals. So the referrals is something that every project out there has. In this one, actually, both people benefit when using a referral. There's the referrer and the referee. The referral will get on this first auction 6%, double than normal. The referee will get 3%, double than normal. That, that is something that is an incentive on this first auction. So after it, the, the referrer and referee's bonus and the bonus are paid in D mount. So whenever you're getting bonus, you're getting bonus in D mount tokens, okay? So regularly on every other auction, there will be 3% D mount bonus tokens for the person who, um, who, who whose referral was used and 1.5% mount tokens bonus for the person who just used someone else's referral, okay? That's how it goes. But guys, if you just join in both of these values, you will have for the first week, a whole 9% bonus on the amount and tokens. And for the upcoming weeks, 4.5% bonus on the amount tokens. Really, really good opportunity. I would say use your referrals at will, guys. And basically, that's what there is to know about this project. There's also the fees. The fees are breaking down here. And uh, also when selling on the marketplace, there's fees that will be applied at 10%. Doing the lendings, the borrower, borrowing money, also there's a, a going to be a 5% tax when lending or, or better yet, when receiving a loan. And uh, one more thing, one last thing about the project, about this tokenomics, you've been listening to me saying many uh, times the word tokens. What's about, what's about it? Is there a liquidity pool? Actually, no. And here it is, the team itself, they say, there is no demount to token liquidity. The token can be used solely within the mountain ecosystem. And that's because that's the whole purpose of the token at this point in time. Buying the tokens with BUSD, staking them, and those will then give you rewards throughout time, okay? Also, uh, fear not, the team cannot mint new demand tokens. All mints are automatically initiated by the smart contract, so no manipulation whatsoever is possible. And basically, that's all there is to know about tokens, about the tokenomics, and about the project in general, guys. Nevertheless, I didn't read everything from top to bottom. I highly suggest you to do so if you're considering investing in this project. Uh, this is not financial advice as always, but guys, if you're considering investing, take some time out of your day, read this whole thing from top to bottom and understand it better for yourself. Wrap your head around this one, okay? It was a, a, a long one, packed with information. Don't forget in 22 hours, 24 minutes, the first auction is going to be live. It's going to be the first one backed by the treasury. Don't forget about it. So that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, take care and keep on exploring.